Concern over the coronavirus continues to grow. We are starting to learn more right now about how the virus easily spreads and its overall impact on the body. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane spoke with a professor from Yale School of Medicine. He's live with the Mobile Newsroom now and more details on this. Hi, Matt. Hi there, Mark. Well, that cough that's associated with the coronavirus, it's the body's way of trying to fight off that infection, get rid of the virus, but it's also the same way that it can easily be spread. This virus can transmit either through the air or through touch. And Dr. Akiko Iwasaki, a professor of immunobiology at Yale School of Medicine, says the coronavirus can linger in the air for more than an hour or on surfaces like plastic for days. The more we can socially isolate, the better. Um, but this virus isn't going to go away just because we do the social isolation. What we need is mass testing. Not just testing for those showing symptoms like a fever. Fever is always a uh, body's response to fight back pathogens like this virus. And then there's that cough. Iwasaki says the coronavirus infects the lungs, destroying the cells that help us breathe. That's why when you have a severe infection with this COVID-19, it's very difficult to breathe and you, you have coughing because your body's trying to get rid of the virus. The problem is when you're coughing, the body's defense against the virus is also the same way you can easily spread it. And with no vaccine, Iwasaki says the best thing you can do is limit contact with others. We need to really uh, stay home, shelter in place. Um, if you don't need to go out, don't go out. She says here locally, Connecticut is doing the right thing by closing schools, non-essential businesses, and eliminating mass gatherings. But she cautions it will only work if everyone is on the same page. These are all very important measures, but it's not uniform across the United States. That's the problem. We have to be in it together, united in this effort, because otherwise, if there's a pocket of infection that spreads from another state that comes into this state, you know, we'll have another um, little mini outbreak. So in addition to social distancing and washing your hands, she says a few other tips. You want to stay well hydrated and also use a humidifier. Run that in your house. She says that will help as well. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.